<laughs> in a way I'm so willing her to to move along just so we can follow her some more not that I'm complaining I can look at this for a long time and not be bored Also looking forward to this winter, again just coming back to Karula and her cubs, <coughs> those two young females I mentioned, her, her offspring, <coughs> excuse me, they, um, as they get bigger and bigger now, obviously they're getting more confident themselves, they're getting more aware and wiser to the world, so when she does leave them they don't need to hide away like they used to when they were small, so I find as they get bigger they quite often stay around water holes, so in winter it's not impossible that we could find two, three days in a row We'll have those two youngsters here around Treehouse Dam, for instance. And you can get them playing and stalking and practicing hunting techniques and all kinds of active behavior. And uh, again, with the way it's looking at the moment, come winter time, there's not going to be that many water holes in the general sort of area that Karula covers. So it means we should have a chance of seeing those youngsters a bit more as well. We haven't seen them that often in the last few months. I just while we're looking at this, I'm just going to just attach the infrared camera as well, just so that as it gets darker and darker, actually, obviously we're going to stick with her, so we uh, can hopefully see when it does get dark. So uh, if there's a bit of movement, a bit of stirring in the camera, that's what uh, what is happening. getting very dark out here. Once again, James is pushing everything to the limit with his camera, but uh, we'll still see alright. I'm just going to put a bit of spotlight on there. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Oh. Okay, she's just seen something, which means I'm going to take the light off her. Because we don't want to give her position away to whatever she might have seen, but just look at how that shape suddenly changes. Such a lethal, athletic shape. They're very, very quick. Very agile cats as well. Wonder what she's heard. more grooming. Yeah, and James, you're right. Yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of light on there again. It's just a little bit of light to help us see better. I'm not putting it on her actually, I'm just reflecting it off the water here. You can see it's just catching the top of her head there. You see the movement of the water as well on her face. James is busy attaching that camera, so excuse the movement.
Yeah, I think let's do that because infrared we could probably get away with our spotlights for now. So let's have a split second there of picture change. And then uh, we'll be on our infrared mode. benefit of the infrared cameras even without using the infrared lights you can pick up uh, or it can work in very very low light conditions so we should be able to stick with it just like this without using any lights of any kind I think a leopard is probably one of the only animals that one can sit at patiently even while they're doing nothing for an extended period of time and still really enjoy it. Every time they move, every time her tail twitches, every time she looks a different direction, you just feel that little bit of excitement. And I've seen that before with people when I used to do a lot of guiding. Even lions, you can have a pride of lions when they're all sleeping. You sit there for so long and then people get a bit bored, but with leopard, people can sit there for hours and just watch the occasional tail twitch or ear flick and uh, still be very interested in what's going on. They just have that. They've got a lot of charisma. They are very interesting and intriguing animals. Also extremely uh, adaptable if you want to different environments. James is getting the infrared light on her there. Keep in mind the infrared light is not visible to her. So if she does move or does do anything, if something is heading this way, she will actually be uh, in normal conditions as such. There's no lights that's maybe giving her position away. So just as I was saying, oh, she's going to move. Big stretch. Leopard are very adaptable to all kinds of habitat, everything from desert to jungle. But the specific kind of habitat we have here in the Sabi Sands seems to be extremely suited to their behavior, or to their success, shall I say. Ah, oh, she's pretty, yeah. Stations, Gorilla just getting mobile now. Looks like she'll probably head in a north uh, or easterly direction. Stunning. You can see there's the other game drive that's been sitting here patiently with us as well. Guys, we're going to move quickly. She's going to head onto the road on the other side of the water. Let's try and get around to that side. As you can see, we were in the water there. That's an afternoon, eh? 